Alex Sandbags Molly pushes Henny out of position and Furious set up for this A site explosion. There are three CTs here with Lucas tucked in on the short side. The brothers in arms playing a bomb site together as often is the case. Oh, and KMG is crept out short while he can, but he's not got much room to move. Vinny keeps him trapped, and that's the same story for Lucas as well, who won't live long either. Bombs loose, VSM helping out, Henny jumping up. It's an absolute brawl on this A site. And even with a mid flank, Junior needs to activate faster. Both CTs are here. He's walking with his knife out. He will have the backstab. No one is fighting for Fury, and they're waiting for Junior to activate, and he's been spotted. Oh, no. This could still go so wrong. Junior is suddenly all on him. Oh, my. His two teammates in the site both get charged down, and he might face the same fate, Junior. Oh, oh this is not nice. This is not good. This could not have gone more wrong. And there it is. He's finally brought to his knees. Okay. Henny. Salve galera de boa, só que ele está fortalecendo o canal novamente e está com novidades incríveis para vocês. Mais códigos para vocês tentarem a sorte e conseguirem tentar retirar a skin de graça. Não esqueça de utilizar os três códigos da descrição e aproveitar o site completo. Muitas skins de CSGO e variados jogos diferentes para vocês ganharem. Caso não tenha certo item, você pode fazer a troca no próprio site e resgatá-lo, ou também vender se caso queira. Tem vários modos de pagamento e depósito. Você sendo prêmio no site também, rapaziada, você terá diversos benefícios e mais vantagem. Soma case, primeiro link na descrição. They they kind of need to win it for every reason we've said. And right now down 0 and 2, but that's certainly helpful. BSM falls off the wood and Kesarato catches him at B. Luckily enough, Kenji keeps things even on that A site. We know though Fury, our first weapon or asset case Roger just opens up this V bomb site by himself. What I was gonna say, based on utility, there's not a lot of flashbangs here on Fury, so a lot of drive peaks needs to happen. There is a lot of supporting aids, though like the Molly and the smokes. I agree though, like even if they are in a slump, absolutely this is not a game that you, you should be losing right to Furia. Uh clear favorites heading into this. I think for us the question mark is really, you know, how good can Oplano really be against yeah. these top ten, top twenty opponents? Yeah, you know, something I always think as well is that, like, this Soplano squad, a lot of their strats, you know, have boiled down to getting bailed out by having great individual players. And I think one of the reasons why Furia was such an exciting Brazilian team was that they have a perfect, like, kind of matrimony between a very unique and defined style that they call that is that is damn unique to them, right? They make it work in a way that other teams just can't. And on top of that, you've got fantastic individuals here as well. So I I, I think Fury might oh, oh, Vinny saw him. him. Yeah. Vinny saw him. He still gets a frag. He won't get any more. Vinny's so close on the flank. And now oh. Leo cutting off that rotate out of A. It's a mess. I talk a lot about that, especially when you have this what I meant with even on a map like Nuke when you talk about people figuring you out, right? Especially when it is a map that you've been playing a lot. People are smart enough to this point where they start to realize, even rotates and start to realize, oh, they're running this setup. Like that means that this area should be completely open. And I mean, see unless they want to go fast and just beat them to the punch, that works too. They've run past a rifle though, the smoke has provided cover for Henny and his Molotov has burned out another. KNG is here to join the party. And Henny's blown out all the birthday candles. Goodbye, Furia. Four frags. Wow. Life, the utils in. Four CTs here for Furia. For Obano, rather. Rather for Furia to eat. One by uh, one, by one. Lucas falls. And suddenly, Obano has smoked off. Lovely spray from Henny. Art just gets ruined through that smoke. Junior responds at least. Bomb not getting planted yet. And it certainly will help. The VSM has been killed through the smoke as now a two on four ensues with a flank. KNG holding for this man, he's made it across. Finding out about this AWP, you might have to pay the price to get this information. Ugh, KNG has missed these timings. It's actually going to be Lucas sniping that first man out. K Serato rushes him down, and a missed shot from KNG gives you a little bit of room. Now you know about this AWP. It wasn't a missed shot, rather. He did get yeah. it. I was just late. Oh, a third for KNG. Never mind. Ramps closed to Furia. Run away. Vinny's gotten up short as the lone survivor. Deals with the first, but now they know that he's here. The element of surprise is gone. The molly heats things up for the man at Sandbags, but he's got reinforcements moved in. It's old mate Henny versus Vinny. Ooh, 
hold here. Leo's going to get the better of him. And Oplano locking that round. A big one out of K. Here come Furia contact as ever about to explode. Yeah, I mean, no nades here for Furia. So this, in terms of position-wise, probably the best case that you want for Hanny here. It's a one-and-done kind of position, right? You should only be getting... Oh. I say that, but there's three here. He gets two. But if the shots are crispy, maybe he just gets the one and it opens up the bomb site. Ooh, there was a bit of an error there, right? I think Lucas thought KNG was covering the run-up into the bomb site. He gets sideswept out of the round, but VSM's there to close it out regardless. Deals with both the remaining players. KNG never even needed, and VSM... I realize that Oplano is playing it very aggressive. You know, that's... The... <gasps> what was that? What? what was that? I don't understand. Those... What? Those shots were cr uh, absolutely, I, I don't have a word to describe it. Clinical. What? Jumping. I mean, scroll wheel jump accidentally. Hey. And still three bullets yeah. his opponent. That wasn't clinical. That would be like if your heart surgeon was like spinning himself round a bunch before attempting it. There was a lot of style in that from Lucas. I don't know what to make of that. They still want to commit to this A play. They still want to go into this site. All three players here for Oplano. And they're just holding their ground. If Fury do want to commit, they've got to be true with the A. But Vinny, while he's good for the trade, still two more up. It's Henny and VSM at the short side there to lock the round in. VSM is More's like... Over a fake and then head over to B. Yuri's looking for the boost. Meanwhile, he's getting walked through a smoke. No one mid, though. VSM's still in spawn. He's keeping an eye on this one, but they can walk over connector, and there's nothing he can do about it. Oh, yeah. That bomb cut loose in middle by VSM. Oh, that could prove to be the undoing of Fury. They've got to go back and get it. And right now, Art is a long way away. Wow. Leo... Head on a swivel, and look at how high... timings in this game, right? As much as we've had that benefit of Plano with aggression, like Fury have always come in on these lurks. And, well, that certainly helps. Lucas pushing down bottom A ramp, and the 1 AK gets an opening kill. KMG needs to hit these. They're getting closer, but he's only got one in the cannon. Yuri trades a free orb for Fury and a man up, while Art lurks B. It couldn't have gone better for them in this round. Everyone is now armed. They came into it with two guns. Yeah, and that's where around where Oplano's aggression kind of bites them a little bit. Maybe not expecting Furia to be playing that defensive. We saw them fall back as well. They were going to take over mid, but I think because they got maybe the call that they have, uh, Oplano have pushed down A, they decided to fall back at least. But yeah, round that was not looking winnable. All of a sudden, looks very winnable. Four on two situation, bomb down. No nades left though for Furia. That same could be said for Oplano, so probably just hopeful, wishful thinking here. Trying to see if they can get the one quick kill. Maybe they'll go for it. Still a very unwinnable situation here for VSM. It's going to require both of these two here. On the and Henny is back on this boost spot. Will Junior see him with the orb? It doesn't look like it. Molly going over the site, Henny peeking, Junior with a kill, and Short is cleared out by Art. This is the best A take we've seen yet from Furia. Yeah, KNG is here as the first responder. Lost his only teammate that was nearby, and his fate's not too much brighter. It's just VSM to close out this first half of play. 1v5, and I tell you what, as good as VSM's been, uh, you know, this might be one clutch too far. He's got that big dollar sign in the middle of his name, Mr. Moneybags. Can he find anything? Can he even make this round exciting? No. Yeah, that's to, one way to clear an angle. Yeah, that's a bit of an ouchie. Onto oh, did you see it? Did you see it? It was only for a second. Art I missed just, it. I blinked Art and I missed it. Swung by and went. Whoosh. Out goes Leo. Lights out for Leo. Ooh. Now, four on five. He might have tagged Kesara over. That just means he's a little problem for later on in the round. He's still waiting over here at the back left. KNG out in middle. 
dead to art. So now this B play really does just come down to these three players moving in through Rab. K Serato is still waiting at the back of sight. Oh, ah, K Serato, no. you needed to find something, my son. But instead, him and Art fall right away. And so suddenly, what was once looking like such a good round for Furia has flipped on its head. The bomb is now planted. Oh, Plano, they get in without suffering a single casualty on these players pushing up ramp. And now we look at Junior and Yuri, left alive in this retake. Smoking a kit on Junior. Yuri, if he can get up ramp, oh, he tries to play and take his time. Ends up getting sent out of the round, and Junior's just got to run for the hills. Oh, Plano, they grab the pistol, they take it. Okay. Despite being a man down when that sight push comes in. That's, uh, that's uh, both pistols for Oplano this map so far, then. You're right, it all comes down to just not hitting the shots. Case Rado, fantastic position. We've made the read. No one has walked up ramp yet, and they won't hold it forever. They want to check. Oh, oh what? Was there a flash? Was there anything? Yeah. Was No, there wasn't. They've still got their only flash. I'm not sure about that, Robin. Can you explain? I think they faked. I think Boplano did a small fake at, over at the B-bomb side or something, or maybe yeah. in mid, and Art believes that it's you know a B in mid-take. But yeah, very strange sequence there. Wild. Yeah, Junior. normally at these you tend to look out for a potential lurk, but I'm not Ooh. expecting that. KNG is the look man at the time, though. that could look be in like a time. round winning spot. Like, with this aggression. Oh, he does need to watch. They deny, no, they don't deny the bomb plot, but still they deal with them. That's unfortunate for KNG oh, and Junior with one point of health, Ooh. one HPV in the difference is able to lock that round in. That's a sad round for KNG, man. He got ahead of this short player. He got past Junior, and Junior didn't realize. Throwing the Lurk Smoke in, but not sending anyone behind it. Art knows that now that's a bit of a fake, and he can send his team out. Looking elsewhere, Junior in middle with the Yorp, finding Leo. KNG's going to walk out a little bit later here. Still more contact plays in mid. Oplano have done a lot of these. A boost available with only one man here, but Junior's, again, on the angle, ready and waiting. And look at the setup from Furia. It's going to be a really hard bomb site to hit here from Oplano. Four members will be real fast. Even Art has full control of A-Ramp also. It's the first Ooh. from Yuri. Really nice mollies as well. One on default, one on Tetris. Case Rato has nowhere to hide. Uh, Vinny's moving in. There's a bit of a timing as a gap in that smoke. He's walked through. And oh, lots of damage. Bomb dropped again. And it's VSM to trade onto Junior. He doubles up. He's making this round interesting still. 30 seconds. Forget the plan. It's all about frags. Yuri's here offering pressure. And a Molotov has come in. They don't know there's both players, though. They're still considering the flank. When that orb fires off, that'll be all the info they need. Yuri's so low, and eventually, with Fury not giving these kills over, Oplano either have to get aggressive or plant the bomb. They're going for the former. Look at the fight. VSM hunting these players, jumping the orb, and all the info now for Oplano. They've recovered this round despite the advantage for Fury and all of the info in the world. Yuri, 10 health. VSM's on for the ace. If he gets Yuri here, he's done it. He's aced Fury to find 14 and break the money. VSM. Dead to Yuri, and now a chance in the 1v1. Henny, his old mate, oh and he's going to do it to him with the USP. What? The defuse is in for Fury, and Yuri, are you really going to do Henny like that? The dream is still alive. Eight is up on the board. The money is kept in check. Walking up B. Leo with the bomb. He might have been spotted here, but there's not much of a rotate. Junior's kill K and G. Meanwhile, Leo just exploding and running around the corner, pre-firing. He needs the cover to plant the bomb, but Vinny not going to be able to stop that happening. Not even stopping VSM, who is on a tear right now. Another opener. Four on three. Oh, dear. They're throwing in the towel. I mean, I can see it, right? Yeah. Three on four next round as well. You were playing for a tie, but like no, with the money that you're at for Furia, why not take the gamble and hopefully get seven rounds in a row and take this to overtime? But I mean, even there, right? Like we see it. Like Oplano's timing is really well. Even walking up to be there, we don't see the peaks necessarily from Furia. And then once we do get spotted, then it's just run and gun, right? Let's take the bomb site. Hit the headshots at the 
same know, time yeah. having a chance to play 2B2 mid. It's very strong, right? But if you're, yeah, they haven't had a chance to kind of do that. So while Hoplano, yeah, been playing this very safe, right? They haven't had a lot of quick rounds where they're just going for gunfights. They're literally just running down the clock, having Furia answer to them. Oh, this is massive, though. If Case Rata activates, he's in no hurry, and I don't blame him with what we've been seeing out of this T side, but he has just caught three players leaving B. They're grouping A. He's told Vinny to rotate, but Vinny actually is still at the B stairs despite this aggro. He knows if this flank dies and they, they can ex explode into B, but Vinny is now leaving as more ga ground is gained on the flank. Case Rato timing it well, but he needs to go eventually. It's just been so quiet all round. Little does he know, they're at top ramp right now. They're walking onto the A site. Double short setup. And here come Oplano. Surprise, surprise. Oh, and in a way, right, that player surviving, getting back into short. Well, now you're going to... Uh, uh, yeah. Art just got wall banged out. Also, that wasn't the short player. That that was not the short player they, they thought it was. Yeah. Yuri still alive on the short side. The bomb isn't getting planted yet. They're still looking for this man in the back. Yuri dies. The bomb... Not down. K Serato arriving late. Oh my god. K Serato oh, no. tries to steal it away. You couldn't have asked for him to do more there, Ooh. but it is Oplano taking this map. The map pick. Of Lost both times 16 6, one time to Forza, and one time to Navi earlier this month. So, scary track record, and let's not even forget the way that they just got shredded in their first map. It's not looking good for Furia in the pistol either. Oplano looking for three out of three in the series so far, and two kills away from that. Yuri, though, a bit of a clutch player, dead in the apartments. Caserato, too low health to even be considered in this round. One on three, and he's saving his armor. Oplano on the board, early as ever, and already this game heating up. And I do want to reiterate what a whirlwind this group becomes if this series goes the way of Oplano, which is certainly looking like right now, early days, but my goodness, EG, Furia, lower bracket match. One of those teams will go home, the other will keep fighting. And, you yeah. know, would that, would that get more mileage well, out of it? I, I, I think, unfortunately, just because of the way the meta is right now, I think your AWPA is always going to be a linchpin because of, the, you know, the, the, the way the economy works a, across both sides and how important it is to have the gunners regularly. You know, I've made the comment before where I think if you want to be a successful AWPA in this current meta, you either have to be like an incredible hybrid player like a Simple or a Ziwu, or you have to be like a Jane, someone who knows when to save, mm. always has the AWP, and therefore you get more value out of it over rounds. And I don't think Junior fits into either of those roles. You know, interestingly enough, when when Furia do upset better teams, Junior pops off. I mean, you know, I think about the 16-2 against Astralis on train. Junior was immense in that game. I think about when they took a map off Gambit, best team in the world. Junior dropped 30. That was on overpass. So he can do it. Uh, it's just something that happens incredibly infrequently. Yeah, right. And that's the question. How do you enable that consistency? Is it is it him as an individual? Is it part of his his position? His you know how he's playing in the team, the room they're giving him. Like, there's so many ways to look at it. I don't know if Robin has any thoughts on on how you enable consistency as a player, especially in such an important role as Junior is in. I think it comes down to, because even uh, when we talked about it before, of, oh, I feel like Junior's not taking any entries and whatnot, he actually did, uh, even on Vertigo, right? He went 3-4-3 three three in terms of opening duels, Art had 4-4, four four, so sure, you still see Art more active throughout the mm. map. I think when you speak about operas that, as you guys are discussing in terms of playmaking, I think it comes down to just variety, right? Like, get more well-rounded around the map. So they don't just, you know, they're not just experts in the mid area of Mirage, for example. They should know where to peek in A apps and, you know, B pal, you know, or A palace and B apps, for example. Uh, same thing here, like, right? You see Junior here, for example, just to give this round as an example. Sure, he whips the shot, but this is where you want to see him a little bit more mobile, right? Yeah, he spots the guy in mid. Sure, doesn't land the shot. We want to see him move around now, right? Like, let's pick another spot. Let's have them always second guess. Oh, where's the offer? Where's the offer? But he kind of sticks around in mid, right? So for the T's, you're like, well, okay, the offer's in mid. 
And if he's not moving, kind of what well, we kind of see device as well. It's a good shout out, right? Device very active on the maps. But when they're not moving, you're expecting the offer to kind of still be around here, right? Uh, for Junior here, you want to jump on tickets. You want to look at connect. You want to stay active here with the AWP, even if you're low on HP. Or you want to work with the picks right over teammates. And this is kind of what we kind of do see here. Yuri aggressive on an A ramp, right? You have Junior then essentially just blocking him off his flank, so to speak, and which is a totally fine setup. But when you guys do talk about impact, just that defensive way of playing the off, right? There's obviously aggressive ways yeah. as well. Well, they're up by men, right? So all the more passive. And now not even giving these B players picks. They're up short all the way pushed to the arches. But with 20 seconds, finally a kill comes through for Oplano. Vinny gives up a frag. Case Rato, they have no idea he's here. And he's going to drop you some util just playing with them right now. They need to plant. They know that he's going to be the thorn in their side to stop that. It's coming in. Case Rato can't deny it. He's only trying to bait them out. And Henny now in a 1v3 as his opponents come up from the short side. He knows about two out of three right now, and he's piecing it together. Oh, he didn't finish the kill. He thought he had it. Junior's on the angle now. He can't swing out to try and trade. He will be dead, but he's locked into a nice passive position, and they've got to come to him. Another shot, finishing Yuri and Henny in the clutch against his former team. Can he do it? It's looking likely. Two kills from Henny, and Junior a shot from... My God. Furia, they're meeting their match right now. And you could see, you know, uh, I think it was KNG and some other players on uh, Oprah standing up like, you know, hype in Henny. Because after a round like that, you're going to be feeling it. Another three on three. Trades are in and the A site is lost for Furia. There's still a mid luck and Henny's looking to cut off those rotates. There's a palace flank as well. Something that these T's need to stay aware of. But they've outpositioned it. Art, they know he's here. They're not going to give him the satisfaction. They lock in on ramp and CT. They wait for Henny to come in with an eventual backstab. And there's no kit as well in this round. So more problems for Furia on the retake. Yeah, they're just hoping that something's given over. And it is, in a sense, right? VSM hits that timing. Yeah, I do agree. There oh. might be a disconnect here, right? When you have a, such an aggressive player in art, the other four tends to be a little bit more passive and a little bit more uh, put together, right? To kind of account for uh, the aggression that kind of art possesses. If you have two aggressive players like that, right? How often do you see three versus fives being turned around, right? You can't really yeah. have a play style that fits that bill. It's impossible to play. Uh, so yeah, maybe there is a bit of a disconnect, right? Maybe you're expecting rounds where art is no, is not aggressive. Maybe that's when you're expecting junior to take up a little bit more room. But again, we go back to, I think that even a little bit more time, right? Getting, especially with the language barrier um, and getting to a comfortable state, I think is important. Another slow round here, by the way, 25 seconds left. Oplano essentially having to be forced to just rush banana or rush B here. 15 seconds left. They do get some openings though. They still have Art here playing in the smoke, but he gets caught. And these rounds, oh. man, like it's like Oplano should not be winning some of these, but it gets chaotic at the end and then the headshots get landed and all of a sudden a round that didn't look like an Oplano round turns into a Furia save. Yep, this is going to start getting embarrassing soon, uh, you know. You We've had a couple of save rounds back to back. Oplano with 7 and 0 on the T side. We saw how they. That is a real problem. Oplano, 20 seconds. They've got to go through. And Yuri's dropped the bomb. He's going to spray down three kills from Yuri. It's about time we had a hero. And even though he's out of ammo, he's won the round, surely. They're not going to give Lucas the kills. And if he wants to go, he's got to grab that bomb and hightail it to the site. No chance here. Smoke's faded, open positions. And Lucas is looking for exit kills. Finally, Fury, a find a round. And uh, it is. Ooh, it yeah, out. yeah. It's, it, you know, uh, there's even little things like that and i think sometimes that does lead to junior kind of being in in some rougher spots right like doesn't even get to play into that oh, round there no, you're yuri joking. soaked up all the glory but joking. now look at this from leo the window boost oh a big gap getting exploited the b bomb site now on the chopping block case zerato gonna have to do some heavy lifting they're already in through the market they're pouring out short yes yeah, the save and this is a save for Fury. Eight oh. on the board for Oplano, and they're immediately back on their bullshit again with the B play. <laughs> you love to see it. Again, we then, saw this on Vertigo as well, right? Really good job on the timing. 
it's not like Fury is not holding mid, right? They're holding the connector, but not expecting the boost and going into CT spawn. I, I, small things, right? But normally when you don't have a guy in window, when you say, oh, we're going to leave window this round, you tend to not break the vents. Because yeah. that way, if they do boost in and they go spawn, you tend to hear it. But here we see the round where Fury out, they break the vents, smoke rounds in, and they make this play late. Completely disregarding the fact of like, hey, this is still a potential. Uh, super smartly done here by Oplano, and they're going for the hunt as well. They know they're ahead, they know that Fury is very low on money. They get both. Get both oh, of them, yeah. Oh, worst case. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's games the... where it's like, it, you just shouldn't have got out of bed. <laughs> Maybe they didn't, Richard. Maybe they got the laptop on the on the legs. I haven't seen I haven't seen their webcam uh, a lot, so yeah, maybe. No, the I, mouse I, is I, on the pillow. This this is on so the maps they've got nailed. You know, this is it now. This is a statement of intent. They are gonna batter Furia 2-0. It's definitely happening. I don't see a comeback happening. And then what does that tell us about the Brazilian scene and where Oplano are in it? That's a great question, right? And I mean, this would have you believe they're the best in Brazil, but is it an off day for Fury, right? You need more results to to be assured. When you're trying to said, qualify for a major, brother, there ain't yeah. no room for off days, right? Very good point. And, you know, if they can keep this up throughout the tournament, they have been a team that have been getting better every series we've seen from them. And they are very limited in the experience here in this roster in NA. They've been pracking in Brazil. So, yeah, it took them some, some warm-up time potentially. But Furia, they've had the, the hottest boot camp in EU that, that many teams would beg for. So, right now, this is not the form we expect from them. They're getting uh, slattered two on two now, bailing from B. A bomb. Running back through spawn, Henny staying in apartments. Utils on Lucas. Henny can't do much to fake other than show his hand. And he's going to play first, hoping that Yuri will rotate out. But I like this. Yuri's anchoring. He's committed inside of the site. So even if Henny gets this kill, Yuri, oh, there's no guarantee for him. This is a very weird timing. 20 seconds. Lucas waiting a little more patience as he waits for Henny to drop in. He's going to check it. Big frag from Henny. Yuri might rotate now. Oh, and he does. Lucas waiting. You could not have asked for a better read on this Don't situation. Aspect. But just knowing that, how does Art surprise Henny when Henny was a part of all of those tactics and strats and calls? How do you get the drop on a former teammate? And, you know, they've just read them like a book. KNG saw the window player. He knows there's good info right now. Look at the con players. They got their eyes on it. No, it looked like he looked at a leg. He looked up as if to react, but... Oh, surprise, surprise. Art's here. Deagle out. Not in time. KNG needs to be traded, but Art is doing everything he can to keep the series going. However, it might be bittersweet. Dropping middle is Leo now with a bomb, and he's faked the drop. He can climb back up window. Not needed. Leo with the smoking con, jumping up, and he doesn't know where to look. Yuri's walked it. Yuri getting out on the other side is a lovely little play, and he's isolated down to where his opponent can be under or the con smoke. Two options and one shot. There's no one leaks there, though, to be found, <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden, I think the bomb site just opens up. Ark seems to be waking up, but is it too late? It seems like he's had enough, right? The uh, the pressure's off, in a sense, in the idea that, you know, this, round, this game might be unwinnable anyway, so may as well be as wild as you can, pushing smokes as they fade and finding two in this round. It's going to be a fifth for Furia. And Oplano, despite being up in such a lead, are just playing as safe as they can here to try and get a gun out, try and save a weapon. Use it against Furia in the follow-up. But uh, right now, in no hurry. Furia not going to be losing any players after the bomb, so this should be five alive and five on the board. If only this game were closer, it would feel... Oh, contact out round for Serato. Look at the crossfire. Play under the balcony, waiting. And I love how these guys are always side by side, right? In some form or another, T or CT, doesn't matter. Henny and Lucas waiting. 
and he gets mollied. Oh, it's so slow at moving out from this boost spot. He couldn't do anything about that on the bricks. He's done some damage. Lucas now needs to capitalize. His teammates are falling. Art has unleashed in some of these T rounds here. Finding another mid pick, they jump over. Lucas lets it happen, but the barrel gives his position away. And Vinny spots it for the palace. Now up to the orb that's flashed off the angle. We're starting to see more of the Furia we know and love on this T side, albeit too late. 2v5. Bomb planted, another flash to keep KNG back, and that will cause the save. Art's a big linchpin in that round, right? You know, he's kind of look. They're always oh. having to think about where he. I am not going to be mother. Oh, putting the M4 in good use right now, but the cover is there. Nice save, Junior. So low, but he does hit the shot. And he's also here in middle, but not over committing for that gun. They're still holding. KNG also, but you got to worry about under, right? If they walk under, you're pretty dead, even though Henny's looking the right way right now. KNG going to call that they're out top mid. Now Henny needs to divert. He hits a shot. Oh, but he's stuck between both. And it's going to be KNG looking to trade. Trapped from top middle as well, even though Junior's not peeking. He doesn't know that. KNG double molly somehow stands above it all. Firewalker in ladder. What on earth? They may climb walls, they can't climb ladders. Those flames. And now KNG smoked out of the window, looking to get a kill before it blooms. And he's done some damage to the follow up as well. Don't tell me they're going to close on an eco. That's not allowed. Oh my. No, this little fight in middle could decide a hell of a lot. Junior does not want to get caught sleeping. Case Serato comes in and deals with the man in lower. You were hoping that that was going to bail them out. But oh, oh no! Back in the A bomb site is where Lucas has just torn the round away. And so now it's Junior. This man a lot. He's faced with a 1v2. KNG oh, no. already in the site. Guns him down. And that there is Oplato <laughs> picking up the victory. 2 and 0. Oh. And look at how much it means to the man. KNG's having a mad one. Oh my oh plato what is story asleep <laughs>